Welcome to Nerd Amazing, my little corner of the internet where I showcase action figures, toys, and collectibles. So, let's jump right into it with this collectible action figure of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle and Universal Monster Crossover Series of Ultimate Master Splinter, as Van Helsing. And don't go anywhere, because at the end of this episode, I'm going to give a sneak peek of what I'm showcasing next time. So, let's go ahead and check out the packaging box artwork first, followed by the action figure, here on Nerd Amazing. The front sports a digital illustration of Van Helsing Splinter staring intensely off into the distance behind a spectacled visage. Just below the image is Splinter's name with his crossover monster hunter name of Van Helsing that he is portraying. At the top you have Splinter on the right side and the proper line logos and action figure name on the left side. The right side shows logos and character images we have seen so far. The back side is awesome as always and still my favorite part of the packaging design with all the cool toy photography and theme sayings over this character. I noticed that they discuss him being a vampire hunter, which isn't the first time vampires were mentioned in this line. Check out the Leonardo as a Hunchback review episode to see my theory about NECA releasing a vampire character within this series. The left side shows logos and illustrations of some of the currently released Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle action figures in this series line. Here NECA gives credit to all the talented people who helped design this figure at the bottom of the box. When opening the front, you are greeted with Van Helsing Splinter all geared up and ready to stake some vampires. Is it me, but aren't you loving a rat wearing a hat? On the opposite end, the action figure of Master Splinter and his monster hunting gear accessories are in full display behind the clear plastic window so you can see everything he comes with. So, let's go ahead and unbox this action figure now to check out everything. Here I have the packaging of Splinter as Van Helsing. Ready to unbox, so let's go ahead and do that. As you can see, it's held together by a little bit of tape right there. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the flap like so. And just pull this figure out. So here we go. Nicely snug in a clamshell, as you can tell. And you get the figure, as well as the alternate head, and his accessories, as you can see, with alternate hands. He does actually come with a figure stand, as well as there is a little bit of banding on his torso. And the rat tail does come out on the back side of the packaging. Oh, you also get this other thing that's inside. Let me get it out one second. It's going to be this art card that you can use for display if you wish to. Give it a little great uh, graphic behind there. So, let me go ahead and get this figure ready to showcase. So, here is the figure of Splinter as Van Helsing ready to check out. So, let's go ahead and do that. First off, here is the front. The side the back side, as well as the other side, the view from the top and the view from the bottom. And you see he has holes at his feet for the display stand. So let's go ahead and check out the articulation starting from the head and working our way down to the feet. Now with the head trying to move it, you can see that it easily pops off, but you can easily put it right back on and just position it where you need it to be. Now he does have a nice T motion at his shoulders and they do spin around at a 360. The elbows articulate in, giving a nice bend inwards. And the elbow joints themselves are able to rotate in a 360 degree fashion, as you can tell. As well as at the forearm, can rotate 362. Now at the wrist, you can spin them around at 360, and the wrists do point inwards, as well as upwards. The shoulders themselves can rotate around 360. All right, and let me put these arms up so we can check out, see if there's any torso articulation. There's very little. Oh, oh see, look, that head just pops off, but again, you can just put that right back on. He can bend forward, and he can bend backwards just a little, but there is limitation due to the clothing. Now the jacket is a soft plastic, as you can tell. And Splinter's belt and rope are both soft plastic. Now his legs do split a little bit, but they are restricted due to the clothing. The legs can kick upward to a point and very limited backwards, again, due to the clothing. All right, let me put that back. Let me just show you. There is minor rotation up there at the upper thigh, but very limited, really not much. Now, at his calf area, they can spin around 360 right there at that knee joint. And right here, let me just show you the knee articulation. 
it does bend backwards as well. All right, let's put that back. And at the ankles, you can rotate that whole foot around 360 degrees. And the foot can point upwards as well as point downwards. And right there, there's toe articulation that allow the toes to point upward. All right, let me just put this down and put that arm down. And just wanted to show you something, pop the head off. This strap can come off, but I'm not gonna take it off fully. Let me just put that back and put that head back on as well. And I just wanna show you right there on that strap, this is where you will put his stakes. And as you see, they pop in real nicely. And you can put his knife in there as well. Let's just show you real quick. Right there it goes. All right, let me just put that out. All right, let's check out the alternate head. Here is his head without the hat and just some gorgeous details. Love the glasses, how they did that and the fur as well. All right. Let's check out these arrows. Just show you one of them. Really nicely done. Very nice, great sharp point. I love how they're individual as well. All right. He has some specialty arrows as well when hunting monsters. So he's got one that has garlic and another one with a very unique tip. I'm not 100% sure what that is, but really cool. All right, let me just put those back. And let's just check out one of the wooden stakes and knife. Really nicely done. Like the wood grain, love the knife. Very great. And his alternate hands as well. He has closed fist option as well as a pointed hand look too. Really nicely done. Love these. These are going to be great for different poses. All right, give me one second to put these hands back real quick. And here is his display stand as well. So let's go ahead and check out the scale of this figure. Now the official NECA website states that Splinter here is supposed to be 7 inches tall or 17.78 centimeters, which I honestly expected him to be shorter than the turtles. Now measuring this Master Splinter myself, he actually comes in at 6 inches tall. So let's go ahead and place his ultimate NECA action figure of Splinter as Van Helsing on the spinner now so we can check out more details on the rat with the hat and see what sweet action poses we can achieve with it. One of the first things that I noticed is the iconic Van Helsing face sculpt for Master Splinter wearing the brimmed hat and donning spectacles over his eyes. NECA did a great job here as the glasses sit nicely on his face. I really liked on his wide brim hat that he tucked away a ninja star on the backside, giving a nice homage to his ninja training. You also get some nice dry brushing here to highlight the fur on Master Splinter. The other alternate head sculpt of Splinter is simply a non-hat version but still keeping the same look. This honestly would have been a great opportunity to have provided a different facial expression here. Now with hunting monsters in the cold north, it is always best to be prepared with a fur lined leather jacket. Love seeing the leather grain texture and folds expertly sculpted into the jacket here. It's also very cool that they tucked in the scarf around his neck and underneath the jacket. Such a nice detail. They even added a bit of realism here by having the jacket being patchwork stitched and not to look like it was just created by one giant piece of leather. The backside has a nice split tail coat that really works well for this figure, allowing Splinter's tail to come out and not be hindered. It's also really cool that Splinter's tail is posable in a variety of different ways, being that it is bendable. And they even made sure to give some nicely detailed buttons to keep the jacket closed. Splinter sports an amazing torso strap for his weapons of his monster hunting trade, which reminds me of a bandolier. The front side holds his wooden stakes and knife that you can easily place in there and remove when hunting vampires and other monsters. It's also a very nice touch by showcasing the brass buckle and studs here too. As the strap wraps around his backside, you see that he has a quiver attached to it that holds the specialized cross bolts, depending upon the foe that he's facing. When hunting down evil monsters, Van Helsing here uses his trusty crossbow to take them down at a distance. NECA did a really amazing job here by adding so much detail to it, such as the wood grain effect and having a scope attached to it, I just really wish there was a way you can actually clip a bolt to it. All of Splinter's hands are encased in purple leather gloves with the top finger holes cut out 
to allow his claws to be exposed. The bottom half of this figure, you can see clothing more akin to Master Splinter from the older movie versions. You can see his tattered robe and belt coming out of the jacket and going roughly down to his knees. You have his thin rat legs coming out from underneath, having his ankles and majority of his feet wrapped in simple bandages. I guess this allows him to use his sweet ninja skills to be quiet when hunting monsters instead of using clunky leather boots. And if you're not part of the Nerd Major community yet, consider subscribing to the channel so you can stay up to date when new episodes get released. Also, give that like button a click as it helps out the channel and feel free to drop your comment below for me to respond back to. The original Van Helsing was Professor Abraham Van Helsing, a literary character from the 1897 gothic horror novel Dracula, which was written by Bram Stoker. The Universal Studio movie version of Van Helsing first appeared in the 1931 movie Dracula, starring Bela Lugosi as Dracula and Edward Van Sloan as Van Helsing. Now this 1931 Van Helsing appeared more as a professor type that utilized special equipment to take on Dracula instead of a warrior type strapped with all sorts of weapons like the Splinter here. If I have to say, this version of Splinter as Van Helsing, to me, seems to be more modeled off the Van Helsing movie in 2004 starring Hugh Jackman based on the clothing similarities and weapons. What I find interesting is this is the second time that vampires have been mentioned in this line. Again, check out the Leonardo as a Hunchback episode to hear my theory on what NECA might have in store in the future for a vampire character. This was such a fun NECA figure to review, and what blast having this Master Splinter all decked out in this Monster Hunter gear. I will leave a link to NECA's website in the description below so you can see additional details over this ultimate action figure. Are you ready to see the next showcase collectible here on Nerd Amazing? Well, are you? It's gonna be... Well, it's Father Christmas, aka Santa Claus, from the Figure Obscura line from Four Horsemen Studios, the makers of the high fantasy action figure collectibles, Mythic Legions. So you ready to check out more naked action figures? Like this? Or maybe something like this is more your style? Well, thanks for joining me here at Nerd Amazing. And to all my Nerd Amazing fans out there, again I say to you, be passionate in what you do, share your passion with others, and be kind to one another, as this world can always use more goodness in it. This is Adam with Nerd Amazing, and I'll see you next time.